I am Albert Kamstein, former professional trail rider, and in this video we will learn how to attack, how to face different obstacles in a row. It could be a double step, triple step, and so on. Come with me and I will show you. As we've seen in a previous video, we learn how to attack an obstacle. We have different techniques, Let's remember that we say we can jump to uh, go over a step, simply rolling, touching the front wheel, or touch and lift the rear wheel. So with these techniques, uh, of course, the rocks, the obstacles that we will face uh, will change every time. In here we have two different cases, a double step and a triple step, and in both cases the shapes are different. So what we're going to do and what we need to do, usually when we try to, to make that kind of sections, let's say of advanced level, that it's not just one step and then everything is done. More are coming then, uh, you, you need to to realize which is the best technique, which is the right technique to try to uh, go over these obstacles. Uh, the key in this case, remember that we understand a nice thing on the step video, is that we always try to land smooth, try to land soft when we are getting the top of the step. And why we did that? We did for these occasions, because sometimes uh, things after doing the obstacle are getting worse or there's another obstacle coming uh, straight after it and that's the key point how we get over the step we need to realize that the bike is taking a speed we're making an obstacle and all the weight is in front of our uh, feet that means the bike wants to go down the front wheel wants to land towards the floor and sometimes we have room enough to land and then attack the next obstacle but sometimes what we want is to keep the front wheel up in the air so that's the key point we need to stay backwards with the body remember that we say that we, we uh, make the opposite of the bike the bike has the weight in the front going down so with the body and the arm extended we make that uh, this uh, weight of the bike becomes a little bit softer that the bike wants to roll down a little bit more gentle and using the legs making a good effort with the legs try to make the bike stand still with the front wheel up in the air we're going to wait the right spot the right moment that we have the weight of the back coming down to attack the next obstacle why it's important because if we make too quick remember we make one step and the front wheel is up in the air and we want to react too quick we will miss the front wheel that's why we are waiting the sweet moment going as slow as we can searching for it and when we have this weight going down then we are ready to attack the next step so we're going to see how depends on the shape, we're going to make it quicker, slower, depending the room that we have after one obstacle and uh, let's say uh, deciding if it's big enough the room to make the front wheel going down, if it's short, uh, if it's high, so many things are here to take in consideration and that's the, the important for me in when you're doing these things. The key are always deciding which is the right technique for these obstacles and the speed and the body position to attack it. And it's important to know that if the step we are facing are more technical and not that high, we're going to use first gear to be really precise. And instead, if we are facing big obstacles and what we want is go over the step, uh, whatever the way it is, uh, then we're going to try to attack it with second, third gear. So that's all. Uh, once again, I hope it's been a useful video. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any doubt. And get on the gas. Bye bye.